good morning students we are study about the statistics same 5 bcom and same 3 bb in the subject of statistics we are going on the chapter number 1 correlation uh, in the last lecture method number 1 when observation is very small we were study about the method number 1 now today we are start the second method when mean are not fraction mean are not fraction means the file answer will be uh, perfect for the mean for example in the calculation of mean uh, in the column of x and in the column of y first of all we are the total of the x and y and we are using the formula for in the standard 11th and standard 12th simple formula for the mean you are study about the standard 11th or 12th sigma x upon n for example here x is equal to 4 a and 3 so total 4 plus 8 12 12 plus 3 15 so sigma x is equal to 15 here 15 upon 3 because the number of observation is 3 your answer will be 5 5 is a not fraction answer it means perfect answer and suppose y we are assumed that 5 8 7 20 it is called for sigma y here y bar is equal to sigma y upon n 20 upon 3 it means 6.67 then we are not using the method number 2 mean is fraction here mean is fraction and here mean is not fraction so just remember method number two we are using when mean are not fraction okay here the find the correlation from this formula first you write the formula with mean you write formula r is equal to sigma x minus x bar y minus y bar upon under root sigma x minus x bar whole square second under root sigma y minus y bar whole square we are using this formula when mean are not fraction ok now calculate a uh, question for the correlation suppose in the question given the two column x and y and uh, title for the question find Carl Pearson's method yeah simple questions find correlation from the following data here the two columns are given x and y now 12 15 18 20 and 25 and in the column y 20 22 24 26 and 18 okay first of all when you calculate the correlation first you total of the sigma x and sigma y here the total here the total is 90 and here the total is 110 First of all, you find x bar and y bar. So here we find x bar, sigma x upon n, 90 upon 5, your answer 80. Then another find y bar, sigma y upon n, 110 upon 5, 5 is the number of observation. So your answer is 22. Now you check it. Here mean are not fraction because the mean a perfect figure 18 and 22. So we are using this formula for the finding correlation. R is equal to sigma x minus x bar y minus y bar upon under root sigma x minus x bar whole square under root sigma y minus y bar whole square. So we are preparing next five column x minus x bar then y minus y bar then x minus x bar whole square, then y minus y bar whole square, and last column 
x minus x bar, y minus y bar. Total five column we are preparing. First of all, x minus x bar. Second, y minus y bar. Then square of this column. Then square of this column and multiplication of this column. So you get it the five column. First, x minus x bar means x bar is equal to 80. And we are subtracted from 18 each and every value of x. So here we write x bar is equal to 18. 12 minus 18 minus 6. Understand? 12 minus 18 minus 6. 15 minus 18 minus 3. 18 minus 18, 0. 20 minus 18, 2. 25 minus 18, 7. So you get the answer. Total of x minus x bar 6, 3, minus 9, 2, 7, plus 9. So minus 9 plus 9 is equal to 0. One thing is remember students, this total is always 0. Sigma x minus x bar will be always 0. Okay. Now another column y minus y bar. So here y bar is equal to 22 y bar is equal to 22. So here subtractions y minus y bar. So 20 minus 22. 20 minus 22 minus 2. 22 minus 22 0. 24 minus 22 2. 26 minus 22 4. 18 minus 22. So minus 4. Your answer 4 plus 2 6. Minus 2 minus 4 minus 6. Minus 6 plus 6 answer will be 0. Just remember students, always total of sigma x minus x bar and y minus y bar always 0. So it means your answer will be right at that place. Now next column x minus x bar whole square. So square of this column minus 6 square is 36. One thing also remember. Always square is positive, not negative. Square always positive. So minus 6 square 36, minus 3 square 9, 0, 2 square 4, 7 square 49. Now the total of this column.
under root of 98 and under root of 40. So first of all, multiply 98 into 40. Your answer is 3920. In the under root, 3920. Then next step, minus 8 upon. Under root of this value, 3920 under root. So answer will be 62.6. 609 so we write 61 here the remember third digit is less than 5 then we are write same figure and when third digit is more than 5 then we are adding 1 the final answer divide a divide 62.61 so your answer is 0.127 so here minus so answer will be minus minus 0.1277 and final answer minus 0.13 this is your final answer 0.13 negative one also remember answer in the correlations lies between minus 1 to plus 1 it means your answer is lies between minus 1 to plus 1. That means 99% answer right. Suppose your answer is more than 1. Yeah, less than minus 1. Then check it. Again, okay. any mistake of the questions. Okay. Now you practice this type of 4 questions as per the given in the PDF file. And I will give the answer on the next day or 